My name is Lucyna Opala. I was born in Poland. I'm living in Australia for last 30 years. My major is using a felting technique and making wearable art. I was in the medical sciences for 27 years, but I was thinking that there is something missing in my life. And once I been show how to make a fabric out of sheep hair, I was fascinated with that technique. Making felt is known to humankind for 6,000 years. Australian merino wool is the finest in the world. If we look under the microscope, these little scales like a hooks, when it's wet, it opens up, catching onto anything that comes across, especially silk. Before, people were doing on a flat bamboo mats. These days, it's so much easier to do on a bamboo wrap. And I wrap around to roll the whole design, and you do it many, many times. So it brings the, all the layers wool together. That's how this technique is simple. In felting, what is very important, what your story is all about. Why I am calling a wool author? Because it is a language I can speak to people with. And every felt has got her own way of telling the story. And in my uh, designing, I use very fine cotton, linen, woolen material, and a different forms of silk. So there are many different fabrics, depends on what I want to create. One big source of inspiration is, of course, beautiful nature around. I love ginkgo tree because it's a relic from the past. And when I was a very young girl and I was in love, very often me and my boyfriend were going under the ginkgo biloba tree. And we always were making wishes for us to be fulfilled. So I, I still love using ginkgo design. In this scarf, it's like a representing a very dark night. I use this gold light to slightly emphasize the lines because in nature never is really totally black. There's always light from somewhere coming and putting shine on these things. Sofa crested cockatoo is one of the biggest Australian parrots. I call them big boys, because when they flying, they're making lots of noise. I make this design not on a heavy woolen base, but use the finest of the form of the silk, which is silk chiffon. It's very delicate. And I was thinking that would be appropriate to make a sky-like effect, something very, very light. My designs are never finished because I don't want them to be locked in a frame because I think that my design would have another life. It would continue to be designed by other person who is going to wear. Thank you.